Hey guys, welcome back to another Halo video. Um, yeah, so if you saw something especially cursed in my new intro, uh, yeah, your eyes did not deceive you. Uh, Inferno Plus has released Cursed Halo again, which, as you can imagine, is Cursed Halo, but even more cursed. He updated it, and it comes with major overhauls to the campaign experience. Um, the multiplayer maps aren't out yet, but... He, he made it sound like in the video that they were going to come eventually, so that would be nice. Uh, problem is, you can't really play multiplayer on the mod maps unless you have like friends to play them with. Uh, but yeah, it's still really cool. And uh, So I went ahead and played the first two levels. If this video gets enough likes, I'll probably go ahead and play the other ones on here as well. I mean, I'm going to play them regardless, but whenever I post them on YouTube... Um, and I played on Heroic, and let's just say it took quite a while to beat both levels. Um, the second one especially, because I, I was playing for quite a while, and I just eventually, it got super late, and I had to go to bed, and then I got back on, and then, still took a while after that, but I eventually did beat it. Now, I went ahead and did not cut out most of the cutscenes, just to see if there's any major differences. It didn't look like there was super big differences on the first couple of cutscenes, but I'll go ahead and show you guys them anyway. When it, when there is a change. So. You heard the lady. Looks like you got a purpose. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Man, here's where we show those split chin squid head sons. Among us! They could not have picked a worse enemy than the human race. We are going to blow the head Among us! Dogs until we don't have anything left to shoot them with. And then we are going to strangle them with their own living guts. Am I right, Marines? Sir, yes, sir! So I know for a fact there are some custom Sergeant Johnson lines in this mod. So I don't know if that was one of them, so I went ahead and included it. I also included part of the cutscene because it had some of the cursed vehicles as you saw, like the mini hog and the double gun uh, scorpion. Uh, so now I'll just go ahead and get into the gameplay and probably won't say a whole lot of anything unless there's something specific. Like I might talk about some of the weapons and what they do and stuff, but otherwise, yeah. Uh, enjoy some cursed content. Captain needs you on the bridge ASAP. Better follow me. Help me help you. Run away. No, you can't hide from me. Get clear, Chief. Help me. I don't keep it loaded, so we'll have to find ammo as you go. In older versions of the mod, I know you could throw the backwards pistol, but I couldn't figure out how to do that in this newer version, so I was wondering if it just isn't a thing. So instead, I just meleeed people. Because it used to be the zoom button, but now it actually zooms, so I don't know if that is an intended change or just like a bug or something. But yeah, just look for a new weapon if you want to not shoot yourself by accident. I would say, unironically, some of the weapons in this mod are the greatest Halo weapons of all time. 
Take for example the battery rifle, which is the ultimate form of the assault rifle, except it explodes if you overheat it too much. The big crushed plasma rifle is pretty much just a plasma rifle, except it looks like it's straight out of Doom or some other primitive 3D shooter. Um, not a second, like so I'm just saying like, that's the graphical style. Um, but uh, yeah, also like the boomstick, which I'm sure I'll find later in the playthrough. Um, and just, just stuff like that. Goofy guns like that that are actually kind of cool in this mod are like some of the best parts of it, in my opinion. Over here! 
The boys down at R&D asked me to give this to you ASAP. Some kind of upgrade to your suit. Supposed to give you some kind of crazy Bonus! powers, if you can believe. You got most power! So, did it work? That's good as hey. Good job. Don't worry about me. The biggest addition to this version of Cursed Halo is those armor abilities or Master Chief abilities, whatever you want to call them. Regardless, they're cursed like that one, the karate move, which sadly is the least cursed out of all the abilities because there's also a double jump and a third one, which I won't spoil. You'll have to watch me play the level where I get that. But uh, yeah, so pretty cool addition there. But there's also several other additions with this mod compared to the earlier versions of this mod. So just a massive content improvement. Um, and honestly, this mod has a lot of more content than most AAA games nowadays, which is kind of sad and amusing at the same time. Looks like the Covenant wanted to catch you napping.
lifeboat. Quickly, get aboard before it launches. Take a chance on me. Time to leave. Last, are you all now right? on to the second level? Move? There wasn't really any major differences in the cutscene, so I didn't show the yeah, cutscene just to save some time in the video links. There's nothing we can do. Warning. I've detected multiple Covenant dropships on approach. I recommend moving into those hills. We're lucky. The Covenant will believe that everyone aboard this lifeboat died in a crash. Alert! Covenant dropship inbound. They must be looking for survivors. I recommend immediate evasion. So a quick background on the fragmentation grenades in this mod, they're called the D20 because originally they had 20 different random things that could happen, but now in this new version of the mod it's been expanded to be 90 different random things, some good, some very very bad. So throwing them is a risk, but most of the times it's one you have to take, which makes it really fun. <laughs> Thank God, Master Chief. I thought we were in real trouble. It's a mess, sir. We're scattered all over this valley. We called for you back, but until you showed up, I thought we were cooked. Don't worry, Sergeant. We'll stay here until evac arrives. Heads up! I got a Covenant dropship heading in! Over here! Now you can't hide from me! <laughs> Let's do it! Another change was that now you can throw many warthogs at people. It's considered a grenade type. And this is the blunderbuss, my absolute favorite weapon in the mod. Although, in this version it was nerfed a little bit because getting ammo for it is a lot harder now. It, the mod did add the mega pistol, which is pretty similar, except possibly even better. So, that's cool.
do it! Look, more lifeboats. They're coming in fast. If those lifeboats make it down, I'll have to right on top of them. Bellhammer, we need you to disengage your warthog. The Master Chief and I are going to see if we can save some soldiers. Roger, Cortana. So I just picked up the pool to tool gun. You have to be very careful when picking up a tool gun. Because one of them straight up crashes your game. You can tell what kind of tool gun it is because it says on the screen. And I find it very amusing that the crash tool gun was left in the game. So just be very careful not to use that tool gun. There's probably also some other troll ones as well. But I don't know what all of them are. And be careful with the, the pool one because you can splatter yourself if you pull a vehicle towards yourself too fast. This cave is not a natural formation. Someone built it, so it must lead somewhere. God, I love this job! Oh, I'm, oh I am good! The rest of the level was more or less similarly cursed and I won't show it for the sake of this video going super long, but I did want to include the last rescue group because this one was insanely cursed with the amount of Minecraft enemies and Minecraft weapons there were and it made it really hard actually. This part I was stuck on for probably a good hour or two before I finally got past it. Another thing to mention is that you can pick up two different types of potions and there are several, several different types of potions. There's lingering, splash, and drinkable potions just like in regular Minecraft. Of course though, because it's a cursed mod, it doesn't tell you what each potion does and it's not necessarily the same color that it was in Minecraft either, so if you're a big Minecraft player, it's not going to help you very much. because. Yeah, I, I had no clue this black potion was going to kill me if I drank it, but it did, and that was very amusing. The green one, I'm pretty sure is a poison one, it's like a pinkish red, that's the harming potion, which just does damage, which was especially useful for killing these annoying sword and shield jackals, which Inferno was right, they are more annoying possibly than sniper jackals, as he said in his video.
Then there's the assault rifle, which is literally loaded leave. with assault, and might be the second best Halo assault rifle of all time after the battle rifle. Yeah, it randomly just says salt after firing for a long time and it just yeets the enemy out of existence. I'm not sure exactly what happens there. There's also some weird Indiana Jones ripoff who's speaking an unintelligible language. I do apologize, I don't know what language that is. It probably is intelligible. I just don't know what it is. Um, so yeah, that's there. the area before the dropship arrives. Alright, that's all for this video. Make sure to like if you want to see me play any of the other levels in this mod because there is a lot and uh, they are all incredibly cursed. So yeah, thanks for watching and thank you Inferno Plus for making this incredibly cursed mod.